Hey everybody. So uh been a little bit of a slow week. I only got two TTMs in, but I do have some purchases and a couple private signings here, so we'll show those off. And I did go to the Storm Chaser game last night, which unfortunately is my last of the year. It was the final home stand of the season, but I did get some good autographs, so I'll be showing that off too. I'm uh, going to start this off. I'm going to call this a three of two success in 204 days, and it is an international success from uh, Mr. Ray Ferraro. Signed by 99 Stadium Club. Um, I think he's an announcer now. And uh, I did send $2 for return postage, and he sent my $2 back. And uh, that was really nice. He used his own postage. And I got him on his rookie card here, the 86 OPG. I did send him a blue Sharpie, and he used black, but that's okay. I ain't going to complain on this uh, one. Yeah, and here he sent my $2 back, uh, which uh, I found when I tore open the envelope and tore my dollars with it. <laughs> and uh, the third, I'm counting this as a third, but he uh, wrote me a little nice thank you note there. Signed it, too. So happy to get that. Ray Ferraro was a really good player. Alrighty, next is a 3 of 3 in 82 days from a former mi former minor league player. He owns his own gym down in Texas now, I believe. And I got Mr. Ronald Prettyman. Sometimes he goes by Ronnie. Let's see, this is this was really his only major release card, a 2007 Bowman Chrome. A 2009 double A card, minor league. Was well, a pretty good minor leaguer. And here's a 2008. Just never made it to the big leagues, unfortunately. All right, and this one, I had mentioned this a long time ago. But if you remember, I used to send TTMs out from my cousin's address sometimes, too. Uh, to increase my returns and well he moved and he got one forwarded from his old address and he moved an hour away so I'm just now getting this back even though he's had it for a long time but I did get Michael Kadire on the 06 tops and he has one of the best signatures in the business he's been signing a little more regularly again but keep in mind he is a strict one per all right, and uh, I'll do my in-person graph recap last night. So I did get Matt Beatty, who was uh, just sent down to Omaha from Kansas City. He was a nice guy. Got Chris Owings. Uh, Indianapolis Indians were in town, the Pirates AAA. Now, he's a strict one per. I didn't know that. I had two cards for him. He kind of molded it over for a second, and he chose to sign the Diamondbacks one, other than my Royals one, which, had I known, I would have asked him to sign the Royals card, or only had that one out. But uh, still happy to get a signature from him. He got mad at somebody the last time he was in Omaha, and didn't sign for anybody after that. So I'm glad he signed this time. And I got Dom Nunez. So uh, Sam Hilliard, I think, is a pretty easy one to get to, if I remember correctly. Uh, he's on the Braves right now. So uh, we'll try and finish this sometime in the future. Maybe next year I'll have a chance to get that done in person as well. All right, and I do have two private signings. Uh, first one, this one was for a charity event. I got Jim Larritz for the set. Happy to get that one. He does sign through the mail a little every once in a while. He's not a guarantee for sure. But it was for charity, and I think it was only 10 bucks, so why not? All right, and the final private signing, this one I'm very happy to finally get. Uh, I was supposed to have had this a year ago. Uh, the promoter messed up and didn't get it sent to me and has been giving me the runaround for the last year. It stopped talking to me a long time ago. I finally called him out on SCN. He was having a signing with this player again, and he got it redone for me finally after I had called him out. But I got Bruce Ruff in here for the set. So happy to get that done. Um, I'm almost finished with the Rockies 
team set in my 97 score set. Uh, surprisingly fairly easy to do. Uh, a couple more of the guys I need are on Pass Pros, so I'll be uh, probably be getting those done pretty soon. All right, I've got some purchases here, some Facebook group purchases. Uh, once again, got some good deals. Got some uh, one, two, three dollar card deals here. I got Steady Eddie Gordado on the, I think that's an 06 Heritage. Was a real good believer for quite a while. And uh, this one was cool. I'd never seen this before. It's a 2018 Bowman Chrome. Already signed by Josh Stowers, who I believe is in the Orioles minor league system now. And uh, I don't know about Griffin Conine, where he is now, or how well he signs. Uh, I do think he ended up in the Marlins system, maybe. Don't quote me on that. Joey Cora on the, I think that's a 96 or 97 collector's choice. John Moses, 87 Fleer. And Doug Fister on the 2010 Tops. Famous for the Fister Furbush trade. Fister for Furbush. <laughs> but he was a good pitcher. If you really like uh, control freaks, uh, Doug Fister was among the best of his time. Had a nasty curveball. Big 12-6, to 6, and he could spot it anywhere. Um, probably best known first time with the Tigers, where the Mariners traded him to. But uh, to me, I'll always remember him best for the Mariners. And uh, that is it, everybody. So thanks for watching. Hopefully uh, I have uh, some good stuff to show off next week. I really haven't been sending much stuff out. I've been pretty busy. Uh, so things could be slowing down a bit. But, uh, you know, the off season coming up, I can take current players out of the equation and I can start going through uh, past guys who are signing and uh, start putting together a big list. And uh, I really haven't done a massive send out all at once in a very, very long time. So maybe that'll be something I start working on here. But uh, that is it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you next weekend.